I bought the iPhone 14 Pro a couple of months ago, immediately I became bored with it. I just thought it was boring. And while I'm not gonna get into all of that in this video, I kinda wanna talk about the phone that I've upgraded from, or should I say, upgraded and that is the iphone 13 mini and i kind of want to focus on why i think that the iphone 13 mini is the best phone to buy in 2022 and also i'm going to be mentioning one reason why you probably want to skip it for now though all right let's discuss so the first thing i do want to talk about today is the price sadly apple decided not to bring the iphone 13 mini form factor up to the iphone 14 lineup and instead they made a pretty much dead on arrival product the iphone 14 plus which didn't really sell too much but not having the iphone iPhone 13 mini in the current lineup adds a little bit of a benefit and what I mean by that is that caused the prices of the iPhone 13 mini to go down since that form factor is no longer one of the latest form factors currently the iPhone 13 mini from Apple is $599 and you can definitely look around and get some really good deals on used or refurbished iPhone 13 minis which makes it an even better value in 2023 that's honestly a steal for what you get on the iPhone 13 mini you get a pretty solid display coming in at 5.4 inches the a15 chip which is the exact same in every single iphone 14 besides the iphone 14 pro and just a device overall that feels really fresh and not outdated for that price the iphone 13 mini has never left me feeling like i need more out of a phone it has a really good speed an amazing camera and just overall feels like a modern phone in a small and tiny form factor. For the price of one iPhone 14 Pro, you can pretty much get two of the iPhone 13 mini, give or take a hundred bucks, but you get the point. Take it from me, someone who generally hates the iPhone 14 Pro, getting the iPhone 13 mini doesn't feel like it's a sacrifice besides one little thing. And of course, that little thing that I'm talking about is the display. The iPhone 13 mini is indeed mini. However, compared to the iPhone 14 Pro, it just feels really right in the hand and is perfect for when you're traveling. The iPhone 14 mini feels like it's barely even there. And while yeah, that has some pros and cons, I actually like that just because when you're traveling, it just generally feels better when you're lighter. The design of the 13 mini overall just looks quite beautiful. It's boxy, it's squared, and it just reminds me of the older iPhones which had some of the best designs to date. The iPhone 13 mini has a serious advantage over other iPhones. Generally speaking, your only option is a large size phone, but the iPhone 13 mini design just oozes minimalism and allows you to truly focus on what you need to out of a phone. And for me, that's pretty much texting, calling, and occasionally watching videos and content on social media. It just feels like I'm really using a phone the way that a phone should be used. And if you are somebody that generally likes using a phone for phone things, then you're probably gonna really enjoy the 13 mini over those other phones. And an underrated feature of the iPhone 13 mini is its one-handed ability, which means that you could really type out emails or draft text with one hand while on the go, which further increases your productivity. The display still looks good and still allows you to watch content comfortably if you need to, and it never feels too small for me compared to the iPhone 14 Pro. Bottom line, again, I've never used this phone and especially this, the display of it and just thought, hmm, I need something else. Moving on to battery life, my day-to-day -day use with the iPhone 13 mini consists of emailing, texting, calling, light social media, and content consumption. And for the most part, I should be straight up and say that this is not exactly going to be the phone that's gonna last you all day. And that's especially true if you are commuting. It's just pure physics and with a smaller phone, you're gonna get a smaller battery capacity, which is completely normal. The thing is though, is when I upgraded to the 14 Pro, the reason why I upgraded or one of the reasons was the battery life. And I could say quite sadly that the iPhone 14 Pro is also not an all day phone. I did notice, especially in my day in the life video, that the iPhone 14 Pro died quicker when I was out compared to the iPhone 13 mini. In retrospect, if I knew that the battery life of the newer iPhone was not gonna be that much different, then I would have stuck with the iPhone 13 mini at the time. All right, so it's finally time, despite what I've said and everything in the video, I do wanna talk about why you might wanna skip buying the iPhone 13 mini. So Apple sells a phone, it's called the iPhone SE. If you look at the design, that phone is ugly. It's an older design, but it's not really like the best looking phone. And it just feels a lot more outdated. I think, and a lot of other people think that the iPhone 13 mini 
was replaced so that they can move that form factor over to the iPhone SE lineup. I think that Apple will be adding USB-C to the new lines. And I know we've been saying that for years, but next year we'll have USB-C. They can kind of justify a lower price of the new iPhone SE with the iPhone 13 mini's form factor. Probably just gonna keep lightning on the device to justify the lower cost of the phone. So I guess it might be worth the wait. Anyways, that pretty much wraps up the video. So let me know down below what you think of the iPhone 13 mini do you actually use one and are you thinking of upgrading if you have any questions let me know down below in the comments don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and i've linked another video for you to watch over here thanks so much happy holidays peace out and love stay safe everybody thank you peace thank you